Hello and welcome to this After Effects Certification Preparation series of videos. I'm Luisa Winters. In this video, I want to cover Objective 2.2a. This is the third video that we've done about Objective 2.2a, and it's just talking about panels. In this video, I want to talk about the Effect Controls panel and the Layer panel. So let's go ahead and hop onto After Effects, and let's start with the Effect Controls panel. The Effect Controls panel is usually here on the top left of the screen, but right now it's not showing anything. Well, it's not showing anything for two reasons. Number one, effects are applied to layers, so I don't have a single layer selected. And number two, whatever layer is selected doesn't have any effects. So in here, inadvertently, I added a puppet effect to the branch and leaves. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. So if we want to see something in the Effect Controls panel, we need to add something that would be visible in the Effect Controls panel. So let's go to the Effects and Presets panel and let's add an effect. This can be any kind of effect. So just for now, let's go to Color Correction and let's go to, say, Color Balance. I'm going to add a Color Balance effect to any of these clips. In fact, I'm just going to call it to this City, uh, city Reveal or whatever it's called. So here we go. Now that that layer is selected, you see the color balance effect here in the Effect Controls panel. And in here, you can, we haven't even talked about keyframes yet, but you guys are not newbies in After Effects. I mean, if you're watching this, it's because you're getting ready to take the certification test, so you already know what a keyframe is. You can keyframe directly here in the Effect Controls panel, or you can keyframe in the timeline. So, you know, makes no difference to After Effects. All I'm saying is you can do it here or you can do it here in the timeline. So you can just change any of these properties of this effect. So if you want to delete the effect, click on its name and hey, just press the delete key. It's the same with a preset. Like if I go to a preset and now I want to go into, say, creative, and I'm going to go to bloom, brights, and darks, and I'm going to add this to this flag uh, video here, right? There you go. So this particular uh, preset added these effects to that clip to that layer, and I can change the blurriness, I can change the input channel, I can change any of these things in here, and I can also keyframe them in here as well. To delete, select them all, right, and then press the delete key. To select all is Control a on Windows, Command-A on the Mac. So you can see that it's very appropriate to add things using the Effects and Presets panel, just drag it to the clip, and then in the Effect Controls panel, you can modify whatever it is. So let's go ahead and type in this search bar for a Gaussian blur. So I'm going to type the word Gauss, and I'm going to apply this to all of my clips. I can select all of the clips, and then I can double-click the Gaussian blur, and it should be applied to all of them. So notice that no matter which clip I select, the Gaussian Blur appears in the Effect Controls, which means that I applied this effect to all of the clips at the same time. I can also select all of my clips and I can change the blurriness, right? Notice that it's affecting only one of them. If I want to select all of them and affect the blurriness of all of them, I can select all of the layers, press the letter E for effects, and I can now change the blurriness of all of them at the same time. So notice what I'm doing, right? I am expanding these, and this is very important in After Effects. So I want you to remember this, not necessarily for the test, but for you. Do you see how the names are selected? That doesn't mean the effect is. If I now do a click and drag, I can now change the blurriness of all of them at the same time. See now, and here all of them are blurred. So in After Effects, it really, really depends on who is selected, what is selected for you to be able to adjust it. Yes, you can adjust many things at the same time, but they need to be selected. 
All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and collapse all of these. In fact, I'm going to go back to a default workspace, so that should resize all of my panels to where I am more comfortable with them. So right now, we've been working in the comp panel, but we have not been working in the layer panel. So if I double click any layer, it opens in the layer panel. This is important, not just for the test, but for your work around. I want you to make sure that you read the name of the panel. See, this one is comp, composition. This one is layer. It says layer. This looks different. It has other options in here. Like if I want to say track something here. So I can right click this, go to create, uh, I'm sorry, track and stabilize, track camera. It's going to give me a warning. It's going to say, hey, you can't do that in here. You have to do it in the comp panel, right? So if you ever get messages like that and you just go, hey, what's happening here, right? What, 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 what's going on here? Then you know that it is that you're in the wrong panel. So layer, says layer here, composition here. And as soon as I am the comp, yes, the tracking starts happening, blah, 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 blah. If you want to delete effects, say, from all of your clips at the same time, select them all, press the letter E, you can click and drag like that again, or you can just click on the individual effects, and now you can delete them from the layers. All right, so there are ways for you to delete these effects a little bit, uh, you know, uh, quicker and all of that. Neither here nor there, we're just preparing you for the test. If you need to add an effect to a layer on the test, I highly recommend that you go to the Effects and Presets panel. You search for that effect. Make sure that you are adding the correct effect, whatever that happens to be, a Gaussian blur, an RGB, HSL, it doesn't matter. Search for it, apply it to the layer in question, and then change the settings to whatever you need to do in the Effect Controls panel. That's going to be the easiest way to do that. If you find yourself unable to track and stabilize or to do whatever it is, make sure that you know which panel you are on. If you're in the Composition panel, it's going to look a certain way, and more important, it's going to say Composition to the left of the name. If you're in the layer panel, it's going to look different. See this, this time ruler here that didn't exist on the other panel. And most importantly, it's going to say layer to the left of its name. All right? So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.